Hello, my dear students. Today, the video lesson which I have posted is not an explanation on any new chapter, but it is a revision of the previous chapter which we have discussed in the last class. That is on Echoing Green by William Plague. So today, I want you all to go uh, to watch this video and listen very carefully so that you will be able to attempt the question that will come in the next slide. Okay, so I expect all of you to listen attentively and understand the lesson again. Thank you. Let's see the cycle one by one. Now, cycle of day, okay? So here, we have the cycle of day. In the picture, even in the picture, in the slide, you can see that we have picture of a morning, an afternoon, on uh, and then evening. Remember, in the first stanza, the poet is describing a picture of morning. And the second stanza, we can see that he is giving us a picture of, uh, of afternoon with those old people sitting under the oak tree, enjoying themselves, and so on. Now, in the third stanza, it is evening. So, even the day has a cycle. Morning, afternoon, and evening. And that, uh, and that is how the day's activities comes to an end. So, even the, even the day, it has a perfect cycle. Next is the cycle of season. If, uh, here also, the poet has talked about the three cycle of season. That is, the poet talks about the cycle of season. In the first stanza, words like spring, birds singing, bells ringing, signifies the arrival of spring. In the second stanza, we can see that he is giving us a picture of a hot summer day where all people and young children were enjoying in the park. So that is the picture we get in the second stanza. Whereas in the third stanza, we get a picture of the autumn or we can say winter. We usually end we usually end the season with winter, right? So we get an understanding of the cycle of season. And the third and the final cycle is the cycle of life, which is most important. In the first stanza, the, uh, in the first stanza, the poet is uh, giving us a picture of young children full of energies and activities. Life begins with childhood and continues and continues to the youthful days and finally we grow old as time as time goes by and finally comes to old age so that is the cycle of life uh, and that uh, that is what we are looking at now, uh, on the outer part, the poem seems to be a very simple one. The poem is divided into three stanzas, which can be, conv uh, which can be compared with the cycle of the cycle of season and, uh, and the cycle of life. So, on the, uh, like, like I said, on the outer part, the poem seems to be a very simple one, but the poet talks about uh, life a lot, okay? The poet uses simple words, but he gives us a deeper meaning on life. Okay, students. So, this is the question which you will be attempting in this class. Okay? I hope this is clear to all of you. For better understanding, let me read out the question. Write a note on the three cycle that we find in the poem. So I want you to write in your own words. Okay. Thank you everyone.